students probably you have seen my previous video on parts of a vertebra but today i will uh, show you how to identify the different vertebras in a very simplified way just by one point you can identify any vertebra maybe cervical or thoracic or lumbar just by saying one point you will be able to identify the specific vertebra now i will show you the different vertebras now you see different types of vertebra are kept here from this vertebra i will identify one by one and i will keep them in the specific container lumbar thoracic and cervical so along with this different types of vertebra i have kept a few of the ribs why these ribs i will tell you later on now if i like to separate this vertebra one from the other what are the points or what is the main point to observe the main points are suppose this is the vertebra i kept i have taken it randomly so what to see any specific feature of this vertebra or not suppose i have taken this vertebra what the feature what is the feature i will see or any other vertebra any vertebra what is the specific feature for this vertebra that i will show you and then you can identify very easily suppose this is one vertebra in this vertebra you will see on the lateral side is there any facet or not so this is the facet can you see this is the facet and i if i mark it on this red color this is the facet this is the facet of this side and this is the facet of this side and this particular facet for what for articulation with the ribs like this 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 part of the rib this part is the head of the rib that part will articulate with this ribs so in every thoracic vertebra there should be a articular facet or costal facet you know there are 12 vertebra thoracic vertebra and 12 pair of ribs so each rib will articulate with the thoracic vertebra only not with other vertebra so in every thoracic vertebra you will get a costal facet or articular facet on the postlateral side of the body of the thoracic vertebra as well as facet on the transverse process but if you just one point only on the vertebral body this facet may be circular or may be demi facet on half above or half below or may be full facet whatever may be the shape of the facet half or full if there is any facet on the postlateral side of the vertebral body that is definitely a thoracic vertebra so i will keep it in this container of thoracic vertebra in the cervical one suppose this is one vertebra this is one vertebra here i will see any foramen of this vertebra is there or not there are two foramen one is this big foramen called vertebral foramen another foramen on either side of the body this foramen and this foramen this is called foramen transversarium because this is the foramen on the transverse process or transverse element so this is the foramen transversarium through which some structures pass one is the vertebral artery like this with sympathetic plexus around this vertebral artery and of course this is the second part of vertebral artery along with this vertebral artery and sympathetic plexus you will get another important structure called vertebral vein like this so vertebral vein second part of vertebral artery along with sympathetic plexus they pass through the foramen transversarium of cervical vertebra so every cervical vertebra should have this foramen transversarium so it is definitely a cervical vertebra so i will keep it in the cervical vertebral container another vertebra i will take and in this vertebra i will see whether costal facet is there or not if not so it is not thoracic vertebra any foramen in the transverse process is there or not no foramen so it is not cervical vertebra so by this point no costal facet no foramen transversarium so it is a lumbar vertebra so i will keep it in the lumbar vertebral container now you see how i am identifying all these vertebra just i am keeping this see yes costal facet is there so it is thoracic vertebra another vertebra here no costal facet no foramen so it is lumbar vertebra i will keep it here again no costal facet no foramen lumbar vertebra no costal facet no costal facet no foramen so lumbar vertebra this is yes 
कॉस्टल फैसेट हाफ फैसेट हेयर हाफ फैसेट हेयर हाफ फैसेट हेयर हाफ फैसेट हेयर सो डेमी फैसेट और द कॉस्टल फैसेट मीन्स फॉर आर्टिकुलेशन ऑफ द रिब्स एंड ऑल्सो फैसेट ऑन द ट्रांसफर्स प्रोसेस दिस इज शुड बी थोरासिक भाटिब्रा एंड दिस दिस भाटिब्रा अगेन कॉस्टल फैसेट इज देयर सो इट इज थोरासिक भाटिब्रा दिस भाटिब्रा कॉस्टल फैसेट थोरासिक भाटिब्रा दिस भाटिब्रा अगेन कॉस्टल फैसेट अप एंड डाउन सो दिस इज थोरासिक भाटिब्रा दिस भाटिब्रा अगेन इट इज हैविंग फोर एवं टर्नबर्स एरियम कैन यू सी दिस फोर एवं टर्नबर्स एरियम of this side and this side so this should be cervical vertebra this vertebra costal facet is there so this thoracic vertebra this is no costal facet no foramen lumbar vertebra this is foramen transversarium for second part of vertebral artery with sympathetic plexus and vertebral vein so it should be cervical from transversarium again in this vertebra cervical again this vertebra also having foramen transversarium cervical and in this vertebra the costal facet is there in the body and also in the transverse process so it should be thoracic vertebra so in very few minute or few second you can identify in a very simplified way just by saying one important point to separate all these vertebra now it is clear that this is lumbar this is thoracic and cervical in this way i will tell you to identify the vertebra in the time of examination what happens during the examination students if they are asked just to pick up one cervical vertebra and if he or she takes this vertebra then if i ask them how would you identify the cervical vertebra they start to speaking the body is like this spine is like this or if they are asked to hold a lumbar vertebra hold this vertebra in this way then they start to saying this is a body is more transversely broad and spine is looks like this this and this so i am telling you not to speak all these things to compare the body to compare the spine or transverse process because this all these vertebra do not belong to a single person so many vertebra are there the vertebra may belong to different persons so size may differ but these three specific points foramen transversarium if there it is cervical costal facet if there it is thoracic no costal facet or no foramen transversarium it is lumbar very simple so thank you uh, for listening and i think it is clear to you how to identify a specific vertebra in the next video i will tell you something different topic maybe on the vertebra or maybe on different topic thank you very much